what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to make an evil plug beat for slam sito flu hancho glocks bass all that like the really evil type shit and yeah stay tuned for the end of the video because i got a free evil plug loop kit for y'all yeah let's get into it so first off i started with uh, i think a pad from purity I just took the darkest notes in the scale and I made a little progression, so D and A and then I have D, E going up to the F repeating the whole time because this is like a really common for evil plug. Yeah, it gives like horror film vibes, you know, I, uh, I layered it with, uh, I don't know what this is even. Yeah, bro, I don't know, sound effect from Xenology. And then I made a little piano. And as you can see, I used the same notes that I used before in the pad. So the D, the A, the A sharp, the E and the F. So yeah. Yeah, it just repeats and it really fills, fills in some space from the pad and yeah, then I I added some piano notes as well to fill up, fill up the melody kind of and yeah, this is what it sounds like. You will see when these melodies come together it sounds really full and it matches really well. So yeah, trust the process. And now I think I got a bell from Purity. Yeah. Yes, sir. And also a little tip that I have. As you can see, I never have the notes right when the clap hits. So the clap hits right here. And I never have notes right on that space because I think it sounds a little a little harsh I don't know if you if you know what I'm saying but try this out and see if you fuck with it I really like this effect like it bounces off to the clap and it don't collide with it um, yeah now I got a string from purity really simple Yeah, E and the F, very simple, just to add on. And then after the string, I added another melody. I added the bell pad from Purity. Yeah, it just repeats itself. I think it adds really good onto the string. And here, yeah, then I did the drums. I started with a hi-hat. Just some bouncy hi-hats and I played around with the velocity a bit. So on these two hi-hats, I let the velocity go from down to up. This adds a little more bounce when the clap hits right here. It goes like up and then it hits. And right here, I changed this velocity down because I think it sounds very good. Yeah and just repeats over and over and then at the end of the bar i have three hi-hats hitting so it's a very good transition to the next bar i think that's why i use it yes sir this is the open head i just put the open head right after the clap and then I added some sound effects like like this one and I added some snares as well right before the clap on the second bar 
Yeah, so I use this snare roll to support my other snare that I have. It's right here. You will see what I mean. Yeah, so right here I have the snare roll from the other snare. I'm gonna play it together, then you can see what I mean. Yeah, I think it's it's a really good effect. Um, 808, nothing special, just just bouncy 808, hard hitting. Turn the velocity all the way up so it hits the hardest. So, right before the transition to the next bar, I placed down some higher notes. Yeah, I guess that's it for the melody and drums. For mixing, I actually almost did nothing. I leveled out the melodies, so it's not too loud. And I put on some Fruity Paramedic. Really simple sound good eyes on the 808, really a bit. I don't even think this is necessary, but yeah, soft clipper. I turned the post gain up so it hits harder. And on the master, I put a soft clipper again. And I turned the post to 70%. So the dB, I don't know, this, this graph right here, it doesn't go over 3. So an artist can record better on it. And it's not not too loud. I guess I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, for the arrangement, I just did a little intro for my hook. And then as I said, we have the hook. It's nine bars long because we are in half time, so 67 BPM. If I was in, I don't know, 150 BPM or something, 140, I would do a 16 bar hook, but uh, Right now we have a 9 bar hook and it's followed by a verse or I don't know a part and it's bro math it's 12 bars long <laughs> bro math is terrible sorry um, yeah 12 bars long verse and after that I have the hook the verse and then the outro I just let the volume fade out I think you get my point. And also what I could do, you could add a little riser to make a better transition from the hook to the verse. I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah, plug riser. Let's take that. Turn the volume down. Yes sir. Yeah, this is hard. Yeah, I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you fuck with the free evil loop kit that I put in my description. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. I can do plug tutorials, plug and be evil plug as you can see. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, leave a like, subscribe to not miss any tutorials. I think I will do much more tutorials right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't really feel to only upload type beats every day, so I think I'm gonna increase my tutorial upload rate. And yeah, bring some more value to you all. Yeah. All right, so first link in the description, free evil loop kit. You can use it 100% free. Cook some beats up. Hey, if you want, you can tag me on Instagram, on your story. And I will definitely shout you out. Yeah, just enjoy it. Have a great day. See you next time.